Hello guys, it's me Gabriel so today I'm going to do another video for guys. I don't know which one's gonna upload faster. I did two videos that I'm gonna do. But yeah. So I'm having a vlog a YouTube attack right now. Um, I got a bird chirping right over there, Bella. Yes. Uh huh. Um. Okay. I'm right here. Um. <laughs> okay. One second. I think Bella needs to see me. Yes. Uh huh. Uh huh. Yep. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Cool. Okay. Sorry about that. Okay, I think she wants us to... How about this, Bella? Bella. I will do a video on you. Okay. So. Now I'm going to have peace and quiet. Okay. Okay. Okay, let me just do this. Today I'm just gonna power through this. What time? Okay, I have to do this. If I if you see me do this, I'm just saying hi, or I need to see this because I have really shiny lighting up there. So okay, it's two minutes. Okay, so I am going to be. Today I'm gonna do a story time on when I kept getting hurt. And when I would walk in, like, right when I would walk in the nurse's, not office, um, nurse's, infirmary, nurse's office. Why did it look that really weird? Okay, infirmary. I'm just going to say infirmary. Because I'm not thinking sure right now. So, um, when I was in kindergarten, I was new to the area. I wasn't, no one in new one. I was just in the area. No one knew me. I was just a person that was there. I was just there, standing there in this school. So, um, yeah. Yeah. So, guys, um, let me tell I think there's like one part that I remember well and clear and because I remember I got hurt sometimes like uh, I, I think I hit my head or something like <laughs> I hit my head or something but there's like I swear there was this bar that you would I don't know I hit my head on some kind of metal that was on like the lowest platform because there's like a platform like this it has like now it has two slides um, I think it only had one slide in kindergarten. They changed the whole setup because there's this one rope thing, like, kids kept falling off of it. I think that was one of the kids. And so they said, kids are getting hurt too much on this. I think especially kindergartners because I didn't have those strong arms I have now. You guys can't see it because I'm in a hoodie, but I have strong arms that I did not have back then. Because I was in kindergarten, but I got, you know, that mess is now that I can't actually pull myself across. Because when I was a kid, I was probably, my body would probably fall to the ground. My arms are so yes, they're holding on. So, yeah. But anyways, it's like a piece of pie for me. But except since I haven't been doing it, like hanging on monkey bars in a while, it's just. 
little hard, but I can still do it. I can bear through the pain. Anyways, so I think I was climbing up there when I hit my head or something. Yeah, I hit my head. Then there's this one red twisty thing that goes around, I think. I think it's like a thing where it has like one here, one there, one here, one there, like one that. Like that. So I think I fell off of that and I hit my head. Then there's like a twisty green thing, but nothing happened to me on that. <coughs> I could see myself putting my head back like that and hitting my, like, bumping my head. Um, that one climbing, it was like a rope thing. It was like basically rope. Um, they changed the whole thing where now they had this, like, it's not rope anymore. It's, um, like, it's basically metal and you can just climb up it. It's like a ladder, basically a metal ladder. And then they have handlebars because I don't think they had handlebars. I think so, but maybe not. Um, then they have a blue slide that's replacing. There was one yellow slide, I think. I would have to check some photos to uh, make sure of that. But, um, a lot of it got switched around. So, here's one that, um, I remember all the way. Because this never happened to me. This would never happen to me often. And I'm not mad at that kid, whoever whoever did this i'm not mad at them i don't hold grudges only sometimes when a person makes me mad at the tiger and so um so i was walking so there's the biggest plaster so this it's like i'm just gonna put my elbows on this this is the smallest platform then there's one platform that's like a um rectangle like this up in the air so it's like a small rectangle then goes up more you have to like climb up this big step there's no stairs it's just this one big step well there is stairs because there's like filming um so violence okay so there's this like thing that's like this. Anyways, um, I was under like right under the smallest platform, and kids can jump off of that. I can, I jump off all of the sides. Every side I jump off of, I can jump off of anything. Except a hundred foot cliff. I'm sometimes afraid of heights, because I get the idea in my brain that I'm gonna break my leg. <laughs> That's the personality I have. So, I'm just standing under there. Like, this is the um, small platform. I'm standing under there, like, right where people jump down. My kindergarten self stood straight under there. <laughs> just stood right where people jump. Like, say people jump in this dark area. I stand here. The kid jumps off and... You guys won't believe what happened next. Booyah. This skull right here. This skull. Just get, like, let me get some of my shoes. Like, pretend this is the kid's shoes. The bang. Like, either they jumped on my back or something, or like, basically, I swear this happened. I'm, like, not lying to you guys right now. If you ask my parents, this happened, or if you ask my nurse, the nurse at my school, this happened. This actually happened. It's like, boom, boom. And I guess I was like standing up. I'm just gonna stand up. I was standing up like this, and I went boom, and my head went down in the dirt. I went like, I guess I fell like this, and I'm like my head went in the dirt. I hated that, and I had nice curly hair. My hair. Anyways, I'm not holding any grudges or anything like that. But, um, yeah. That's, like, <laughs> one I remember the most. There's one that was, like, towards the end of kindergarten. That was, like, August. <laughs> like,
like August 30th or something, or like August something. It was close to when we started school. So I didn't like absolutely know when then I started getting close friends. Um, so. Uh, okay. So, we were getting like. Let's see. So, we were getting in line after recess because since I was like the youngest grade in the elementary, well, not the youngest, but the actual like a grade because there was preschool, but. I don't think they're counting, like, they count as a grade. I think they're just... I don't know. Um, I'm going to edit some of this stuff out. Anyways, but... Um, so we were lining up for recess. I was... So there, the side door goes like this. Goes like this. So if you went this way, there's, like, a side door. If you went this way... That's when, if you went straight, it's like a canopy like this. But if you went straight, then turn, there's like a small side door. So there's two side doors. And like that. So we were lining up for that. Okay. Um, so we were lining up and I had these like, I don't know how to explain it. Um, let me kind of show you, so, here's my mom's shoe, okay, so it was kind of like this, but like bigger, like about here, like this side, and it was like really thin at this part, like this part, it was really thin, so, it was basically like this shoe, but like really thin, and then like really big, and round like that, it was a shoe rack right here, I'm not just grabbing like random shoes. So, oh. I'm gonna have to sleep my pants. Okay. So I decided to like. I had this friend. I'm not gonna give names, even though I would love to. I'm not going to. So not my friend's name is Pumpkin. I don't think anyone's name is Pumpkin, but no offense to, to anyone. So, I'm going to talk to Pumpkin, I think. I don't, that's what I'm thinking because I went over there for some reason. Or, uh, yeah, no, I wasn't talking to Pumpkin. I think I was just going over there because we had a boy, girl, and a boy's, a girl's line, then a boy's line. So, the girl's line would line up like, this is like where you would drop into the grass like this was some dirt would be there then grass on this side so i walk on this side i decided to stand over there i don't think i was paying attention i think i was looking at my teacher mrs h i'm just gonna call her mrs h so i was over there and then my foot like i guess i didn't know her. so this is like the edge and like right here on my thumb my foot went on here like that and you know how like it's like this that this part and you know it's like not steady it was really thin not thin as this part but like a little bit like that like this and it was like you would automatically twist your ankle and I twisted my I think it was this foot yeah, it was this foot, because this one points much better, but this one just doesn't point that good. So, I that explains a lot why I can't, um, like, so, and kind of, like, so I twisted my ankle. I couldn't really walk, because I twisted it that bad. Like, I can't sit like that that much anymore because if I sit like directly in it I can sit like a little, a little bit but it starts a little bit burning here like <gasps> it just starts burning I guess in this way um so I'm actually picturing this in my head it hurts so bad that I like start crying tears start shoving out of my eyes it's in kindergarten you're at this at I'm in 
fourth grade. I'm used to kindergarten with cry. I don't judge. So, the tears start flowing down my face. And eventually, I have to get a piggy back ride for Mrs. H because she did that. And I wanted to get a piggyback ride, but I'm probably going to be allowed to unless I was hurt. So I learned the hard way by actually being hurt. And it hurt a lot. I went to the infirmary. I think that's how you say it. And I got, like, right on my ankle because that's a sore as sore. We had, like, an ice pack right there. And... So I had a hard time walking in the shoes. And I told my mom what happened. And so I tried to put shoes the next day. Like the very shoes I twisted my ankle in. I'm still like still injured from. I fixed my ankle in front. And <laughs> I asked to wear them. My mom said no. Because just no. And I don't know. I guess I gave her it. Anyways, and this is the last time I got hurt. Okay, I have a story of just scraping my knee up when I was a kid. I'm still a kid. When I was a little, little kid. Okay. On my knees, they are like kind of scarred up because um, I'll just tell you the recent thing that happened at school. Injuries with me, fun time. <laughs> so something happened at school where like one of these actually could have Yeah, that. I'm not going to say the word. Oh, could have died. I'll just say it. So, I actually just realized how small my phone is. Like, like the right size. So. Um, let me get back to my story. So, I was on the smaller platform, like about this high, and the other platform's about this high. I'm on the smaller platform. So there's these big monkey bars that, like it's a line that goes to the other part where you can like, I usually climb the yellow bar that's with these blue things that you just do that and you can go across. Um, I would jump down from there and run the line at there. Makes no sense why I would do that, but I did. And a kid was just going on those blue bars trying to get to the other side and jumping down. So, I was getting down, and I don't know why this happened. So, this had to happen, by the way. I was going down, I was about to, like, I would do like this, to jump down. So, I was like this and go down. Yeah, everyone coming through. Do you want to be seen on camera? Huh? Do you want to see you on camera? Can't you just, just stop it for now? No, I and can't. Just start do it back that. again? No, I can't do that. I'll have to do my whole story again. How do you get interrupted again? Okay. Go oh, that hurt. Bad idea. Okay. I'm good. Sorry. Yeah, okay. Let me knock on the door before I come back through? Yes, please. Can you kick the door in when I come back through? No, no, don't do that. Okay. Let me get back to my story. I'm doing such long videos. I'm sorry about this, guys. I'm, it went from 4 minutes to 19. Time flies. Anyways, so I did do like 200 stories. 
So I got kicked in the head. Like now, if we skip that and we go to home situation, I don't know why this happened with my knees. This knee didn't really happen, but this knee still. That. So the first situation that I remember entirely was. I had these neighbors, so I have neighbors across the street that I play with. There's this one girl, I'm just going to call her Flower. I'm just going to call her Flower. So Flower, I came from their house because we were cleaning the basement. Like, cause She comes like once something a week or something. I don't know. That's what was the routine. So I was coming from there. I was running. I tripped and fell. And... <laughs> This is ironic. So, like a month before or something, I think like a month, I bought these jeans from Orlando, or Orlando, Florida. I'm just gonna say Florida because I can't say where I got them from because I can't speak right now. Let me just okay. I'm gonna try to hurry this video up. So, I was coming and there was a hurricane right there. It actually destroyed them all. Which I really like those jeans, but they just got tore up and they were really comfy. Like these, they said they didn't have all of the flowers on them, but they were basically these jeans. Oh. And I already like got some purses in. So, I was coming across the street, I fell, scraped, like got a rip in there. That part. And... I felt my knee was bleeding, like actually bleeding. There was an actual car coming. It was like down the road more, but you know how cars go fast. And I was on my, like, I'm not the height I was before, because I have to back up for you. I was about, I don't know, like, oh, that hurts to be this, like about this height, or like this height, because it's, <coughs> This hurts, I'm gonna fall, okay. So I'm this height now, standing against the wall. Just about this height. And so, if I was like, do this, I would be like way on the ground, where no car could see me. It was pitch dark except like the small lights, like, I think the lights like up, like that. Uh, you could see me, but some people didn't have their lights on. My parents did, but yeah. So the car's coming, and I'm like, my knee hurts, I'm bleeding. I did not almost die from this story, by the way. Um, in my defense, I almost did, but I did not. So, I did not die, because why would I be here today? Unless I'm another person taking Gabriella Thomas's, um, personality but yes I'm still here see but so I run over here I cover my like because my dad saw that I fell and it took me a little while to get up but enough to not be dead so I was covering my knee and I ran up here so the stairs are like from here from this door to there my mom was in the kitchen doing something I don't know what it was Probably like getting water or something. Me and my mom are like, me, my mom and I are very big fans of water. And first kid actually said I would marry water. I still say that, but not like directly. So I would like sprinted. I was that fast on it. And I sprinted with my like, like that. Um, and my mom said, what's wrong, Gabriella? Cause I never do that. That's some hiding something. <laughs> Cause yeah. But if it's like something that's not that bad where I'm like almost broke my leg. I'm because I have a problem with smiling. It's actually a real big problem. Like in kindergarten I would dare myself to smile all day. Not like if it was like a boring session I would just have a straight face. But if I'm hiding something, like if I have like a, someone's phone behind my back, it would... what? Like that. 
So I just ran up here. I said, nothing's wrong. My mom saw it, like, I would be like, nothing's wrong, because I would use the hand gesture. Like. So I'd be like, nothing's wrong. But I'd like, I'm like, nothing's wrong. And my mom kind of saw that I had my arm, like, like this. Because usually I would have them, like, on my hip or, like, in a pocket. So I had my hand on my knee, like, stop bleeding, please. And I don't, I, at that time, I don't think I knew how to, like, sew, because I only learned when I was eight, like, one year ago, or, actually, I when I was, yeah, eight, because, yeah, I was eight. I was eight, I have no idea. <laughs> so, I had my hands put on my knee, and I, and I told my she got kind of mad, but she was glad I was alive, because she wouldn't be glad if I wasn't alive. <laughs> so, yeah, then there's another time where I started up the same knee. I was actually, the thing is, I got my scooter Betsy. I'm just going to name her Betsy from now on. Betsy, my scooter. And so we were like riding. I had I was with my friends across the street. I think they went in front of me eventually, but I would just run. And at this point, I'm like holding on to my scooter. And there's this like so it's like like straight. Then like there's this deep. My scooter like my scooter wheel. We were on a hill, by the way. And if I didn't, cause I'm, cause in gym class. We learn, we learn to like do this. Like if we do a roll, we're supposed to tuck our heads in. If I didn't know that, I probably would have been injured like really, like um, so much. But the thing is, the jeans I had on my, were my favorite jeans. And they ha now they have like really black stain on them. And you see what happened right here? Those are on my jeans. Like that stain is on my jeans because my phone kind of like, I was listening to music. I was riding my scooter and my phone like yeah. it was basically being dragged by my scooter and <laughs> once I accidentally ran over my phone but look old Rosie is still here that's not Rosie because that's me but Rosie's still here so since Rosie's still here we're gonna keep this door going so my pink, black stained jeans were on and I loved them. They had just the right amount of jean cutting, like, not cutting, ripped. Because they were styled like that. They weren't actually, like, homemade, like, ripped. So, they were a good rip. I'm like, I love them. I think I was wearing a sweater at the time. So, my scooter went bling. I think I actually went up in the air. I don't know. I closed my eyes because whenever I know something's happening, I immediately close my eyes. So I closed my eyes and I started rolling down the hill. <laughs> like actually, like, I think I rolled down the hill until I got to the city. So I'm like, I was actually like, what in the world just happened to me? So. My friends actually saw everything. Well, I think they went in front of me or something. Something, they at least saw it or they didn't see it that much. So, I actually rolled down the hill. And I realized my knee was bleeding. So, after I realized my knee was bleeding, I'm like... What in the world happened? Then my mind just refreshes my memory because when something traumatizing happens, you don't remember anything. Well, for me, I don't sometimes. If it's like your mind goes blank, then that means you kind of lose your memory a little bit. So I'm like, what? I actually rolled down the hill and I think I actually tucked my head in because I think there was like a leaf in my hair or something. So I think that's all for the video. I'll do a part two of like happy, happy.
if you guys have to me. <laughs> but I'll just do story time because I love doing story time and it's like 30 minutes long. This is where I'm going to leave it. I'm sorry, people. I'm just like really sorry. Bye-bye.